good morning students today we will learn about past perfect tense so let's start how to frame affirmative sentence in past perfect form your structure will be subject plus had plus past participle so how it will be singular subject i you he she and it and for plural subject you we and they so the best thing of past perfect is you no need to make any changes in your verb as we used to do in present perfect is singular we used to make i i have you have he she has but in past perfect tense generally we use had with singular and plural both so how you will frame a sentence i had found you had seen means this last column you can add it to anything and you can match it with any of the subject it is not mandatory that you will go only found will go with i and you will go with seen you can match any past participle with any subject but this is a small structure just to give an idea how to frame a sentence again this is one more example had plus past participle john had started the music before i arrived john had they had considered that option before signing the contract so student the first a completed activity then another activity one if one activity is completed then another activity occur that time we use past perfect tense again one more example when do we use past perfect tense the past perfect takes place before another past action i noticed notice that he had left his book behind so noticed is the past action and when another action occurred means had left is your another action that's why you, we have used past perfect tense over there so what is the sentence i noticed that he had left his book behind one more example for you past perfect tense is used for the past action already finished when another past action happened after the films had started we arrived what is students what is the past action in this in this sentence it is used for the past action already finished what has already finished had started is finished and you arrived is the action happened next now next is for the past action that started to the in the past and continued up to a given time in the past given time means period of time is given then you use generally we you, you, you we use past perfect tense over there i had never seen him for 5 days for unreal or imaginary things wishes in the past we wish we hadn't eaten so much we wish we hadn't gone over there we wish we had we had done this work in time so any unreal or imaginary things you having then we use past perfect tense in reported speech after verbs like said told and asked when we are having said told and asked means the sentence is in past tense so every time when we are having past simple past in a sentence in direct speech for making from converting from direct to indirect we use past perfect tense over there so how it will be she said she had swum now past perfect tense the past perfect tense in english is composed of two parts the past tense of the verb to have to have will become had plus the past participle of the main verb main verb is your base verb so how to frame a frame an affirmative sentence subject plus had plus past participle she had finished negative she subject sorry subject plus had not plus past participle she hadn't finished 
in space of had not you can use hadn't also in contraction you can write down over there hadn't to frame an interrogative sentence the structure will be had plus subject plus past participle had she finished means your had will come first the form of be then you will add on subject to it then your past participle so use again i am repeating those things which i have uh, told you earlier action finished before another past action richard had gone out with his wife when his wife arrived in the arrived in the office action happened before a specific time in the past tristan had never been to an opera before last night action started in the past and continued up to a given time in the past we had owned that car for 10 years before it broke down cause and effect i got stuck in traffic because there there had been an accident cause is also there and effect is also there due to that accident they got stuck in traffic so emphasize the result of an activity in the past i had been to london twice by the time i got a job in new york these are the examples where you can frame the sentences in past perfect tense more examples to clear your doubts the form of past perfect tense is means the structure is subject plus had plus past participle example when we reached the school the bell had already rung the, the ringing of the bell happened first then we reached so it means one action is already completed when another action occurred next is she had cleaned the room when i got home yesterday had cleaned is your past action and got is your repeat action after first action has had been finished let's brief past perfect tense action finished before another past action when we arrived the train had the film had started how long to a point in the past when he graduated he had been in london for 6 years unreal things in the past i wish i hadn't gone to bed so late important note the past perfect is never used with adverbs of past time but it is used with simple past we never use adverbs with past perfect we use adverb with simple past tense i had met him yesterday no it's wrong i met him yesterday she had come here last day it's also wrong she came here last day so you have do you have you noticed the difference that where we will use past perfect and where we, we, we will not use past perfect thank you students i think you must have understood the difference of past and past perfect where to use where not to use i will i think you will apply in your sentences specifically when we are writing a story we use past and past perfect tense is mandatory in the story because it is an past experience so generally we use uh, past of past simple past and past perfect tense in a story writing thank you students and have a nice day